Hey look, I changed my shirt. It's a Christmas miracle. I want to talk about the time when I got banned from eBay. Banned from selling on eBay. A few years ago, I used to do a lot of selling on eBay. It started out with me going to charity shops and flea markets and buying cheap crap like jewellery and wooden boxes. And then I would sell them on eBay and a few people would buy them, but it didn't really work out very well. I wasn't making much money. It was taking too much time. So I decided to start buying bulk items from China and Hong Kong. I used to mainly buy these cheap plastic watches from Hong Kong. You could buy a pack of 10 watches for about £3 and then you could sell each watch for about £2.50. Sometimes people would buy more, like they'd buy 5 or 10 all at once. And if you sell them all together then it cuts down on the postage cost. The problem was that these watches are really bad quality and they kept breaking and customers kept saying, I want a refund, this watch has broken or there's no batteries in this watch, send me another one. So I lost some money because a lot of them were defects or they were broken or they just weren't working properly. There was even this one time when I bought a box of pens, about 40 pens, from this guy in Hong Kong who was selling loads of them. And I bought it for about £10, maybe £5. And I sold it on eBay. Someone just bought the whole lot off me for about £25. <laughs> I was so happy, it was so exciting. And those watches, loads of people would buy those watches every day. I would sell about five to ten, but I wasn't making that much money because you have to pay for postage, you have to pay for the eBay fees, the PayPal fees, and then some of them got broken or you had to replace them. So I was only making maybe six or eight pounds a day. It wasn't anything to celebrate, <laughs> but it was nice. It was like a fun little hobby that was making me some extra pocket money. And then one day I was browsing eBay and then I noticed some people were selling stuff from Japan on eBay and they were just selling random crap like magazines, books, cosmetics, food items and I noticed that a lot of them were actually living in Japan and selling stuff on the UK eBay. So I thought to myself, hey, why don't I give this a try? It doesn't look too hard. So I did a lot of research. I checked out what other people were selling. They were mainly selling stuff like magazines and I checked out how much they were selling the magazines for, how much you have to pay to actually get the magazines in the first place, how much postage costs, and it actually worked out. They were making nice money from it. You could also check their feedback, so you can even check how many magazines they were selling that month, and they were actually making enough money that you could live on. So my main idea was to just copy them and sell magazines like they were doing. I went into the convenience stores, the shops, bookshops, and I took photos of various magazines and then I went online to find like a nice stock image to use and no one was buying anything. I didn't sell any magazines, no one was interested and I didn't understand what I was doing wrong. I was doing it just like what the other guys were doing. I was selling it for the same price, I even undercut them but people weren't buying from me. And then one day I decided to try selling knife sharpeners, sharpening stones and for some reason, they sold like hotcakes. They were selling so quickly. I used to go onto Amazon Japan and I would buy all these knife sharpeners and then I'd sell them for twice the price on the English eBay, the UK eBay. I was selling maybe five to eight knife sharpeners every day. I was going to the post office every day with a big bag of parcels to send and that must have looked pretty strange, a bit suspicious. <laughs> One time the woman at the post office even asked me if the parcels were reaching their destination properly and I said, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there's no problems, thanks. That was, that was nice of her. And there was this one knife sharpener that was selling really well, better than all the others. One day I got so many orders, maybe 30 orders. I had so much money coming in, it was so exciting. And then disaster struck. I went onto the Amazon Japan to buy more knife sharpeners. And I had bought all of the knife sharpeners on Amazon, <laughs> on Amazon Japan. They were out of stock of the knife sharpener that I really needed, that I had all these people waiting for. It said on the Amazon Japan page that they would, they would get more stock of that knife sharpener in a week or two. So I thought it'd be okay to make the customers wait on eBay while I wait for more stock of the knife sharpener from the Japanese people who were selling on Amazon Japan. But that was a big mistake because people weren't happy. They started demanding that they get a refund and that was kind of tricky because I already spent all the money buying new stock. So loads of people started to get angry and they demanded refunds and I tried explaining. I said, I can't refund you right now because I spent the money buying stock and if you could wait a few weeks then I could get the knife sharpener over to you. But most people weren't happy with that. 
and loads of people started opening cases with eBay so that eBay would give them a refund and about 20 or 25 people opened cases and eBay refunded them and they all left me negative feedback which made me unable to continue selling because I had so much negative feedback and eBay had put minus a minus balance onto my seller's fees so I was, some, I was on something like minus £1,000 in seller's fees. I ended up cancelling the orders for the knife sharpeners on Amazon Japan so I got my money back from Amazon Japan um, and then I decided to pay all that money back to eBay to get my seller's fee back into the positive out of the negative and even after I paid the money back my account, my account was still banned from setting on eBay. I thought if I paid all the money back, it would be fine and I'd be able to set again, but no. Nope. I phoned eBay explaining this the situation and they said that unfortunately because of my recent negative history that I won't be, I'm not suited to setting on eBay, which is their way of saying nicely. We don't want you setting on our sites, please F off. But he also said on the phone, Although you can't sell on eBay anymore, eBay is still a great place to do shopping. It's like they just banned me from selling. At the end of it, they're still encouraging me to come and do my shopping on eBay. I was like, no thanks, I'm not buying on eBay ever again. It was so frustrating. I thought if I paid back eBay, then everything would be fine. I didn't realize that they were gonna ban me from selling. Maybe if I knew that they were gonna ban me from selling, I wouldn't have paid them the money back. I mean, what was the point? It was just really disappointing because I had spent years working on that eBay seller's account. I had nearly 2,000 um, positive feedback points. I was I had a nice reputation. I had almost 100% positive, maybe 98% or something. And it's just gone, just like that. My, my eBay seller's account, just no longer able to sell. Yeah, I know I could have just made a new seller's account, which I did. And I even made a new PayPal. I even opened up a new bank account so that I could link it to my new PayPal. But I just gave up. I wasn't really enjoying selling stuff. It's not really something I feel passionate about. I wasn't making much money by doing it. And it just felt like this is too much hard work. I don't really want to do this. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the effort. And I don't even use eBay anymore. I used to use eBay for everything. I used to buy stuff on it. I used to sell cameras and used games. Now I have to sell everything on Amazon, which is fine. It's just that eBay was better. I don't know if this will still work now. Maybe if you want to go to Japan, you could try it out yourself. Just go onto Amazon Japan, look up knife sharpeners, buy a few, then put it onto the English eBay for double the price. You can make a bit of extra pocket money. Yeah, I know, it was all my fault. You should never advertise that you're selling something if you don't actually have the stock. And I should have refunded those guys their money back straight away, even if it meant that my bank account went into negative figures but it's all in the past now can't be changed can't be rectified i'm not really going to be an ebay seller ever again yeah